G'day and welcome to this week's Frybat Friday Beers and Tools with Andy. Well, we've got another beer from a uh, local brewer here. This is the West Street Ale. Comes from Miner's Gold or Ocho uh, Brewery, uh, which is just down the road down in Beaconsfield. Uh, we've reviewed a number of those beers before and uh, very delicious. So I'm um, expecting great things from the West Street Ale. Happy Friday. Oh yeah, that's nice. What do they have to say about their beer? West Street Ale is our signature beer. A good, honest ale with bready malt character and bittersweet citrus hops. Yeah, definitely got that bready, good malty bready taste. Um, those of you that don't remember, uh, Miner's Gold is, uh, is a brewery and restaurant and tap room located in Beaconsfield in uh, Tasmania's stunning Tamar Valley, which is where I live, of course. Uh, this is uh, 1.4 standard drinks or 4.8% alcohol volume. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's really good. It's... Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty light on the citrusy flavours, which is uh, good for this type of beer. It definitely is an ale. I could be really stupidly posh and say it's really got a good mouth feel, but it's just a nice beer. Um, yeah, that's, that's really good. On my spanner scale, what do I give the uh, West Street Ale from Miner's Den? That's a solid four and a half stars. That's a solid four and a half spanners out of five for me. That's a nice beer. Alrighty. Some time ago, uh, about three years ago, I uh, made a little project out of my um, one of my uh, Milwaukee M12 uh, cutoff wheel unit, and we actually installed this finger. Some people call it a uh, finger sander, other call it a power file. Finger sander is probably more closer to me because it, it uh, replicates a finger. I'll put a, uh, a link up to that review up the top here. Um, that was a really successful little project and incidentally Milwaukee have now started making their own version of it. So you don't have to do this anymore, you can buy the specific one. Uh, but that was a fun little project and worked really well and has got a lot of use. So uh, recently I was on Timu and I saw another finger file attachment to suit the larger format grinder. And so I bought it. And I didn't want to uh, modify my uh, Makita LXT 18 volt uh, brushless grinder because that's very useful as it is. So I had a quick look on AliExpress and um, yeah, I know Chinese tools. I keep saying I don't like buying Chinese tools and yet I seem to buy a lot of Chinese tools. Anyway, so I found a Makita, what do they write? For Makita, uh, which takes a Makita battery and it's brushless and it was a uh, cordless grinder and it was $49 delivered. That's what the unit looks like. I'll put some more pictures up here from the AliExpress ad. And for all intents and purposes, it's very, very similar to my Makita brushless grinder. And it takes the 18 volt batteries. Timu had this unit, uh, which is a much wider format than my little uh, sander here. I think it's about uh, three quarters of an inch. And this unit, hang on, I've got to look up the price. Okay, so this unit, without the grinder, uh, was a whole $13.94. And as I mentioned last week, Timu does have a $45 minimum, so it was part of a package of other things that I bought. Uh, this is appears to be cast alloy. Uh, it is uh, sprung to put tension on the, uh, on the belt. And all it is is a little M10 uh, wheel that attaches onto the grinder, and then you've got two bolts 
obviously you take off the uh, the grinder comes with a guard and a set of uh, attaching spaces for your grinder wheel they come off it does have a handle which probably would be very handy for uh, for using this um, yeah and uh, I have tested this out once already and it works really really well now incidentally um, Makita have actually uh, now made an LXT finger sander and uh, they're about 300 and you know, 400 odd dollars so they're not cheap uh, probably a little bit above my budget for for buying one of these but for a grand total of uh, what to say $50 for the uh, for the grinder and $14 so I'm looking at $65 for this setup. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty damn good as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so, so this is a bit of a mixed one. You, you, you have to build your own. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, it's not, I'm not really reviewing one tool here. I'm reviewing two, aren't I? Um, but let's review it as a, an assembly. Uh, for $65, let's talk about value for money first. $65 compared to $400 for the uh, Makita version. Um, wow, uh, look, that's five out of five beers for me for value. Is it as good as the Makita version? Probably not, probably not quite as well made or um, versatile. I will put a picture up here of the Makita version. Uh, however, uh, I do like experimenting with these type of things and just seeing whether or not they are actually a usable item. And, and look, this Timu, um, this Timu part to turn it into a finger sander is really not quite nicely made. It's uh, it, it doesn't seem cheap or flimsy. Um, this this part of it appears to be reinforced plastic, uh, but that's okay because that's what just about everything is now. Um, so for uh, functionality, like I said, I have tested it out. Uh, it does have a bit more um, function, I guess you'd say, uh, larger version than what I built here. So for functionality, it's a, it could be better. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five beers. However, for $65, the cost has gotta come into it these um, these belts are readily available. It's a standard size, and you can get them in different grit, obviously. Um, but wow, for sixty-five bucks, I got another little uh, portable eighteen volt, powerful, uh, larger format. P these are probably really good for getting into tight spaces and you know little spot welds and things like that. Whereas this is larger format. It's got a better reach, slightly, uh, but a much wider. Uh, it's almost double the width. In fact, yeah, not quite. One and a half times the width of the little one, um, but more powerful. So, um, yeah, look, uh, I'm impressed. Uh, I'll put links in the description below. I don't get anything out of that. That's just if you're interested in building your own. Um, for $65, that's, um, that's pretty good value as far as I'm concerned. It probably could be a little bit faster. That'd probably be the only thing that uh, I could say about it. Um, but th this this does have a speed control mode, one, two, or three speed, and uh, it works really well. Alrighty, well, that's it for this week's Frybat. Uh, I like keeping them short and sweet now, and uh, that's two weeks running, so that's a good thing. Anyway, hope things are good where you are, and. Uh, See you next week. Cheers.